Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Shovel Knight, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, in the last episode we cleared this level and found out that Shield Knight has been captured by the Enchantress, but we can't get to the Tower of Fate yet. It's probably further on ahead in the game, but in order to advance to these new areas, we have to defeat certain levels. First we gotta defeat the Spectre Knight in the Lich Yard, and then we gotta go over to King Knight in Pridemore Keep. Well, you can pretty much do these in any order you want, but I think we're gonna go with this one first. Dig in, yeah. Okay, apparently this is supposed to be some kind of haunted level. Okay, I don't really want a, the vessel or the trouble chalice, because I don't have any. I could, however, use the uh, chaos orb, if need be. Let's see if we come across some new enemies. Are these things supposed to hurt you? Oh, there's just gems over here. Oh, this stuff does not hurt you. Good. Oh! Okay, the Chaos Orb actually works, but man, it consumes a lot. There we go. Ah, uh, you had to hit it and then just do that. Okay, that works really well. Chaos Orb could be a bit better, but it does do the job whenever it actually hits anything. I should actually just go back, because I see a skull over there. Yep, that's a secret. You can actually dig into these bones if you wanted to. Oh, jeez! I don't know what I just did, but apparently, you know, destroying graves is a bad idea. Okay, using the Chaos Orb will not work. These things cannot be destroyed, they can only be disabled for a few moments. So, we're just gonna have to leave. I notice that- Oh jeez, that's a bomb! Well, it did that. That works for me. Oh jeez, another bomb. It's clearing out the earth. It's not a bad thing. But good, I didn't miss out on this treasure. I had to use that skeleton. And he's headless, too. Look at him. What a derp. Oh, jeez, that was another skeleton. Alright, so far so good. Remember, this is a blind run, so I don't really know what to expect. However, I like, definitely get an understanding, of course, this is a haunted level. Makes sense. Uh, how do I get up there? Oh, I had to use the enemy, of course. Unfortunately, I have to destroy this gravestone. Okay, they don't all have enemies. This one did, however. Oh, wait. Before I leave, I see something here. More treasure! Awesome. That's why you just gotta have very good depth perception for these kinds of stages. Because you never know what you're gonna find. Okay, I'm guessing that's a mid-boss over there. Too bad you can't just pick this stuff up. Come here, Stalfos. Ow! Do I have to destroy that lantern? Maybe I just defeat the mid-boss itself. It usually does like three hops, and then you can pretty much take care of it from there. Oh, there we go. Good thing I'm getting my health back. I took a nice bit of damage from that boss. Or mid-boss, rather. Okay, now I'm utilizing the Chaos Orb much better. Since I know how's it, how its mechanics work. Oh, damn. Should've jumped. Oh, well. Don't think there's a secret over here. No, there isn't. I just had to check to make sure. Okay, you don't really get a lot of throw on this weapon. 
that's unfortunate. I wonder whenever it's electrified that you cannot hurt it at all. Or if you tried to hit it, you would take damage yourself. Okay, that doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, this is a very interesting effect. I mean, just total darkness. And you can only see where you're going just by looking at the lightning bolts. Okay, there are pits there, so I have to be very patient. Okay, now it's light again. Good. Good, good, good. I'm guessing that's a bomb in there. Of course, it's too late. They're all dead. Secret. You know, just in case you actually took some damage here. Okay, if I fall in the water, I'm gonna die, right? Perfect. Did that flawlessly. And that's how you go- Oh, jeez! Ha, <laughs> that idiot. But now I missed out on that little bit of money. You know, every little bit goes a long way. I should definitely take that out. Ha! That's what I had to do. I didn't know you could hit them even higher. Jeez. I'm worried. Cause it stays dark so long. If I survive this without dying once, that's gonna be a surprise. I mean, that darkness just messes with your head. Especially when you see that ghost just dangling above you. A lot of things can go wrong from that. Okay, I'm guessing I can just walk on these bones. Oh, jeez! Oh, they sink! Oh, that's what it does. Why are you wearing a Midna's helmet from Twilight Princess? Apparently it's not even a weight. You think it would be, like it would just keep weighing this platform down. Oh, this rises. I think the chaos orb is justified for this part. Okay, I don't want this to sink too far down. Good. That was an interesting mechanic, like using weighted platforms. Making it creepy by having them just be corpses. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to use your power ups if you know you're gonna get some power back. Yeah, I wanted to get that because I'm greedy. Music's pretty nice too, it, it like, gives you a very haunted feel. Oh, got another item in my inventory. It's probably just another Steam card for playing this game. There we go. Huh. Okay, so I can probably go down or I can go up. Oh, that was a trap. No, it wasn't a trap. Okay, this won't go down at all. So I have to use this. Wait a minute. I think I know what I need to do. I need to put this over here. You crafty devils! Okay, good. I got rid of that enemy. This. What's over this way? I'm curious. I don't think this is the way to go for it. Oh, this chest looks nice. It's a big one. 
In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I found in this chest, wanna see? Huh. Escape from all harm. Briefly. Okay. You can even walk on spikes? Wow. That's pretty cool. Cost you eight magic power, though. So, I think I'll stick with the Chaos Spear for now. Because I believe it would be more effective against these enemies. Okay, it's good to know you can actually hit them while they're electrocuted. And that's all the guy had anyway. So it's good to get, like, lots of items. Yeah, I'll just knock the bomb right towards that skeleton. That works. Is this gonna be another bomb too? No, that's just food. Alright, so I guess we'll continue on here. Ah, another checkpoint. I need something to weigh this down. I think you can guess what that is. this. You have to keep jumping, otherwise you fall in the water and you die. Ah, there's a music sheet in here. I thought it would be just money. That's a pleasant surprise. Ah. Again, I think the Chaos Sphere is best for this. Well, I can go down here, but first... Show some disrespect for the dead. Oh, almost missed that money. Hmm. Okay, I see some treasure over here. How the hell do I get that? Oh! There's a secret passage here. I got no time for you, mid-boss. Well, I guess I could use these little holes over here for, like, safe passage. Worst case scenario, I get boxed in. Then again, when he crumbles, he can't hurt me. Yes, this is a blind let's play, but I catch on to stuff pretty quickly. You guys should know that by now. I have a feeling there was probably a music note over there, but we'll never know now. God, you can crack these, yeah. You probably couldn't in the tutorial stage. But you can from here on out. Did that enemy die or was it an actual sparkle? It's hard to tell in this eternal darkness. So I probably missed out on something. There might have been another music sheet. I'll probably come back to that later. Did I make it on the platform? Yes, I did. Oh, this part looks very treacherous. And you know, there are enemies here too. So it's a bit of a good idea to use your downward stab. Uh, did I make that platform sink? Okay, whenever those skulls go off screen, they're pretty much gone. And you can still use the platform again. That part was nearly horrifying. Okay, so this must be the boss. Ah, the Spectre Knight. This is no place for the living, mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from phantoms! Your very existence is a vile deception! <laughs> the Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life. So that I may take yours. Oh, it's boss time. 
Well, hopefully it doesn't get dark. Okay, so it's basically like death in Castlevania. Just likes to fly around and use a sight. Chaos Orb is actually very good in this fight. Oh, jeez. Okay, I can't really jump over that. Oh, got a new attack. Just like to swoop right in and attack you. Okay, I'm going to save spot anyway. Okay, he throws his sight to many different attack patterns. Oh, and he can summon enemies. The Oscar is good for, like, uh, hitting him from a distance. As well as attacking these enemies. However, there is a catch once you start using it. You can't really get much out of it, and you have to use your shovel. He just keeps boomeranging it over to himself. Okay, good. These enemies do give you, like, more magic. Or I was thinking I would have to melee my way through this entire fight. Damn it. Taking some dumb damage here. Oh, I almost put the drop on him with that spear. Drop anything for me. Sucks. Whoa! Okay, when he goes back and does that swoop, you just gotta jump over him. Then you're pretty much fine. Ah, uh, my shovel was just a little bit longer than this game be too easy. But I would have been able to hit that guy. At least the hitbox is generous. At least I was able to hit him back. Oh, I don't have enough. I need six. I only got five. This guy can be very... Oh, jeez. He made it dark. My fears have been confirmed. That he's able to do that. Damn it. I'm in trouble. I'm probably gonna die. I did. Is that all my money? Please tell me that's not all my money. Okay, so you lose some money, but you don't lose all of it. Just gotta pick it up again. Okay, note to self, be better than this. Now that I understand how this guy attacks, I should do a lot better. But isn't that how most bosses work? Okay, he was just sudden swoop. Enough. It was that attack that got me killed. So now I gotta be smarter than this. I got two hits there. Is that Scythe? I mean, when he throws it like downwards, how do you dodge it? Well, dodge it effectively to say the very least. Oh, did I manage to still hit him? I can still hit him when he's summoning the dead, too, so that's very effective. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I knew when he was going to get to that phase, that's when he's going to make it dark. Ah, I jumped right into the scythe like a moron. Man, you can hardly see anything at this phase. Okay, I got the drop on one of those enemies too. Gotcha! I took damage myself, but I knew he was one hit from death. Okay, so it only took two episodes for me to have my first death, but that's okay. My first death was against death.
How fitting. Oh, we gotta have another flashback. Still dreaming of that shield night, I bet. Oh, it's daytime already. Only you can prevent forest fires and make money out of it. Huh. Okay, that's the first I've seen that. Oh. So you can just have random skirmishes with enemies now. Alright, let's test out this, uh, phase locket. Okay, it makes you impervious to damage for like a few seconds. That's neat. Okay, so all I have to do is just get to the end of the stage? Or is there like some kind of mid-boss I have to look for? Good thing you can't take damage while you're like digging into chests. That would have been a very ch big cheap shot. Uh, let's test out this. Damn it! I wanted to go fishing. Let's try that again. I don't see why you need magic for this. Well, I caught a fish. <laughs> Did that fish give me some health? Yeah, it did give me health, because I had less health than this. Oh, that's all. Cause no trouble, warrior. I wasn't causing trouble. Between us, I dig it. Oh, he's happy. There you go, more money. The apparition. He started conducting with that huge scythe. Glad I ducked out of the way in time. Eh, you don't have to perform for me. But thank you! Okay, before I consider upgrading my stats, I should consider, like, uh, buying some relics. Do you have anything that's useful? Oh, I already bought all his relics. I think I should only keep one. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna bother with the Ecor yet. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of that king. Oh, yeah, he's the guy that gives me all that information. And that's for the mini game. Because all I can do is upgrade. I didn't even know I bought all the relics from him. 4500 for this. Okay, upgrades are getting more expensive. Yes, please increase my maximum magic. Now it's up to 40. That's great. Oh yeah, I already had a meal ticket. That's right, it was for the magic and I got to keep it for later. Did he eat it, napkin? Huh. Nice... Rack a lamb. Delicious. He's happy, but I got no money out of it. Okay, and that just highlights all the sheets you've already gotten. Oh, fair enough. Okay, I don't know if it tells you if you got every single music sheet. I guess there's are gonna be some indication. Uh, yeah, I think I should stop the video here, and then the next episode... Oh, that's Forest of Phasing. I'm guessing that's for jewels. In the next episode, we will head here to the Pride More Keep. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.